Most people use their template library as kind of a folder or a collective library of their drafts, right? Templates is probably the wrong word for it because oftentimes the finished product lives in here and you actually just grab it and send it out when you're ready. But you can also store templates here that you plan to build off of later. For example, if you're sending an email broadcast and you want to choose a template, it draws in from your template library. Or if you're building an email in the campaign builder and you want to choose a template, you can pull in one of your emails that you've saved from your template library. But in addition to the emails, you can also add other template types, such as a note. And there's lots of different templates here, but what I want to discuss in this video is the distinction between legacy notes and campaign builder notes. So let's first talk about the template here that we're building, right? So this is considered a legacy note template. And the reason it's legacy is because it predates the campaign builder. So most things that you build now, emails and campaigns and sequences, uh, you just build them right in the campaign builder where they're going to live. But previously, before the campaign builder was introduced in March of 2012, uh, they allowed you to build your different marketing collateral in all these different sections and then assemble it through follow-up sequences and campaigns. But um, there's not a whole lot of necessary reason to continue using um, legacy functions for a lot of those pieces because they've totally been replaced. But let's take a look here at the note template. Um, just like with the regular note in the campaign builder, you'll give it a, a name, so test note, and you can assign whether it's public or private. And then you're setting up the action type. And of course, this list is customizable as well. But let's say it's a call and we'll call this left voicemail one, right? And then the description would be we left them the first voicemail. So notes are generally used to log an offline interaction, right? If somebody fills out a form or receives an email or clicks a link, that happens online. And so Infusionsoft knows about it. But if something happens offline in your day-to-day -day interactions or as part of your offline sales process, you can use notes to record it back to the contact record to make sure you have a record that it took place. Now you can set up the logged in user or who you'd like this uh, note to be applied by. And then down here we have notifications. So if you need to notify somebody else, you can add the notification message here uh, or the individual here and then choose whether you want to send that notify as a BCC or not. Now, once you click uh, ready, that means this note is ready to be used and we can go ahead and click save. That's all you need to do. Now, this note is available, right? If we go to a contact record here and we decide, hey, we'd like to apply that note. I just called Greg. I need to uh, denote that I left a voicemail. I can choose from my note templates here, test note, and then I'll just go ahead and click add note. So the note has been added to Greg's contact record. It's right there, left voicemail one. Now, just so you're aware, if I choose add note first, it's going to ask me, hey, which template do you want to use? And then it's going to give me the ability to customize it. So this part is the same no matter where you build the note. So if you need to customize it by adding your own details, uh, you can go ahead and click add note first instead of choosing the template, just as a heads up. So let's go back to that note template. I want to discuss the actions, right? And you can see here in the type, or up here, if you want to filter, you could say, show me only my notes, right? Uh, let's go ahead and click on that. I want to discuss the actions tab. So applying the note by itself is just a historical record that something took place. But this actions tab allows you to create additional actions that you'd like to happen when this note is applied. And you can categorize it, or if it's part of a follow-up sequence, you can add that information. Again, that's mostly legacy. Uh, the categories you're going to want to use. And if there are expenses associated with this, you could include an additional expense, right? So if you sent them a direct mail piece and you needed to include the cost of postage, right? Every time you use that note, you could record that expense. So let's apply an action. And we'll apply a tag and we'll choose test tags, test group. Go ahead and click save. And then we'll go ahead and click save one more time here to save the whole note template. So now what I've done is I've add, added an action to this note. When this note's applied, it's going to apply that specific action. So let's go ahead back to the contact record. And let's actually use Bob Marley this time. So you can see Bob has uh, already has that tag actually. So we can go ahead and remove it. Now this contact has no tags. And then when we apply the note, Scrolling down here, choosing our test note, apply note, 
It says, okay, this has been done. Here's the action. Here's the result, right? So it says, hey, this action was run successfully. And if we go back up here to tags, that tag has now been reapplied with today's date. So that's pretty much the size of things for the legacy notes, right? Now, the reason I call it out is because most of that can be done in a little bit easier way using the campaign builder. So let's create a campaign or we'll just use my test campaign. That's fine as well. And the way that this starts is you will add a goal, right? So if all you're doing is logging an interaction, it may seem overkill to create a campaign and add a goal, but let's go ahead and do uh, LVM2. And it's important the name that you give it because that's what the note is going to show up as on that drop down list. So LVM2, and let's go ahead and choose that action type. As with before, we can merge in details, left them another voicemail. And then in here, description will say, I called, they didn't answer. And then you can choose uh, the logged in user or a specific individual if you want to hard code it. And you can add people who you'd like to notify whenever this note is used. Again, it's just me on this app, but if you've got multiple people or your sales reps are using notes and you want to have it notify you, that's how you would handle that. And then we just move it from draft to ready. So when I publish this, we're going to see that note is now available for us to use on the contact record. So if we jump back to one of those contact records, we're gonna see that on that dropdown list, we now have LVM1 and LVM2. Now, if you recall, I didn't add any actions to LVM2, right? So LVM2 there doesn't have any actions associated with it just yet. If we go back into that campaign, and you can probably see where I'm going with this, all you have to do is add a sequence immediately following that note. So you've got the same ability to merge in information, the same ability to customize the message, the same ability to uh, notify additional users. The way that the, the, the primary difference is that you can do um, delayed actions, right? So with a note template in the legacy section, all of the actions you set up are gonna happen right then and there. Now you could get creative and trigger a campaign with one of the tags, but it's much more streamlined to just say note outcome actions. And in here, you could apply or remove tags. You could send a follow-up email saying, hey, we just left you a voicemail. You could create an opportunity. You could reassign the owner to a different rep to start reaching out to them. You could do whatever you'd like. But it's important to recognize that the note itself is just the initiating point for this campaign. What you do with them after that is totally up to you. And um, if it helps you in any way, you could also use this type of a note to stop actions. So if for some reason you had some sort of nurture campaign and then they, they called in, you might apply a note to uh, indicate that you talk to them and stop those nurture actions. So I wanna be clear that note templates here in the campaign or in the legacy section, both have really similar functionality. For me, my preference is to use the campaign builder just because I like keeping things all in one place and it's a little easier for me to wrap my head around. Now, um, just as one final call out, you may want to create a single campaign and call it FAQs, right? For the most commonly asked questions or notes that you use most frequently. And you may want to design a naming convention here for this because it is going to impact where those notes show up on the contact record in that drop down list. So you're going to see the name of that actual goal here on that list. Now, like I mentioned, if I just choose the note from here and click add note, it applies it automatically. But if I choose add note, it then allows me to choose from my templates and customize it a little bit further. So small distinction, but useful as far as functionality. Now, the final thing I want to discuss is this person notes tab here on the contact record. And this has nothing to do with the notes section down here, right? So this person notes is just more like um, he likes ice cream, right? I ran into him and he was eating mint chocolate chip ice cream, right? Or they have two kids or things like that. So if you pick up the phone, you can look at the person notes and find things about them uh, to talk about or, or to personalize your conversation. That's a little different than the interactions you're logging down here using notes. And this field, person notes, isn't searchable and it doesn't show up in the admin notes report. So I hope that helps clarify the distinction between your legacy notes in the template section and the notes available through the campaign builder and gives you some opportunities to use these to increase your efficiency in your own business. Good luck.